So we're going to move on to the guided practice now so you can have a go by yourself and then we can go through the answers together. So question number one says some animals with short average lifespans are shown. The guinea pig lives for four years, the mosquito fish lives for two years and the chameleon lives for one year. Question A says what is the average lifespan of a chameleon in months? Question B what is the average lifespan of a mosquito fish in months? And question C what is the average lifespan of a guinea pig in months? So pause the video now whilst you have a go at filling in those boxes on that page there. So for question A, you should have put one year equals 12 months. So a chameleon lives for 12 months. Question B, two years equals two times 12 months, two groups of 12. Or 12 months add another 12 months through repeated addition. Question C, four years equals four times 12 months. So you could have counted in your 12 times tables, 12, 24, 36, and you could have continued there. So there's different methods that you could use. We could use multiplication or repeated addition. So here we're not actually looking for the answer, we're, we're looking for how to get to the answer. Right, we've got another section of the guided practice which I'd like you to have a go at. It says, Ruby observed the eggs of a monarch butterfly for several weeks. Her notebook page is shown below. On the 2nd of April, eggs were laid. On the 9th of April, the eggs hatched. On another day, the caterpillars kept changing their skins. On another day, the caterpillars became pupae. They stayed in their chrysalises for two weeks. On the 1st of May, butterflies. I hear they live for about five months. Question A says the eggs took one week to hatch. One week equals how many days? Question B, the caterpillars stayed in their chrysalises for two weeks. Two weeks equals how many days? Question C, it took the butterflies four weeks to transform from eggs to butterflies. Four weeks equals how many days? And question D, how many weeks does a monarch butterfly usually live? One month equals four weeks, so five months equals how many weeks? So just to point out here, see if you can remember what those wiggly lines mean. They mean the same as, okay? So one month is the same as four weeks and five months is the same as. Pause the video now whilst you have a go at that. So we should have for question A, one week equals seven days. Two weeks equals 14 days or two times seven or seven times two. The rule of commutativity there, we can have it either way to get the same answer. Question C, four weeks equals seven, 14, 21, 28 days. Okay, or 14 add 14, which is two weeks add two weeks. And question D, five months is the same as, we have to do five times four, so five groups of four weeks or four times five with commutativity. So we're going to do five, 10, 15, 20. So five months is the same as 20 weeks. So now I'd like you to have a go at completing worksheet five, which is attached on our Google Classroom, page 192 and 193. You can access the textbook on the Maths No Problem website with your login. Any questions, post it on our stream. Good luck, everybody.